Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. What I enjoy doing the most is to predict the future. So what's going to happen to the new Lexus GX when the all new model finally comes out sometime in 2023 calendar year? Well, at least that's my speculation. I think the new version will come out, who knows, maybe mid 2023 or no later than end of 2023 calendar year as a 2024 model year. So let me do my very best to predict everything about the new version of the Lexus GX by showing you around on this current 2022 Lexus GX. Let me do the exterior talk, the interior and the powertrain, and what I really think will happen to the all new 2024 Lexus GX. Now, before we go too far, let me show you the renderings I've created for the new 2024 Lexus GX. So here it is. This is my 2024 Lexus GX rendering. Now, keep in mind, this is my own prediction based on my experience and insight and knowledge about Lexus GX. This is definitely not an official uh, image from Lexus because no one has seen a prototype of the GX anywhere in the world, mainly because it's built in Japan and they are highly, highly secretive there. And oftentimes it's very difficult to get a glimpse of it. But let me walk you through my reasoning in terms of how I came up with it because I threw everything at it. And while none of us know for sure exactly what's gonna happen with Lexus GX in terms of design, I think I might be close, who knows? Uh, let me know in the comments below if you like this or not. But uh, the way I basically came up with this rendering is first to take the, the front section, which is the most important part. And I borrowed heavily from the Lexus LX, which is all new for this year. Uh, I changed the spindle grille design a little bit. I kept the horizontal lines. Uh, it's all blacked out because that's what I think will happen with the GX. I also changed the headlights so it's, it is different from the version used in Lexus LX. I made this intake larger and a little bit more complex looking. Uh, and I also changed the uh, fog lamp. It's also a little bit more rectangular in design to give that aggressive look in the front while keeping the Lexus heritage design. Now, because I'm hearing more and more that the new Lexus GX will have some resemblance to Land Rover Defender or even a Mercedes G-Wagon, I made the entire body look more square-ish, more rectangular, and even the wheel wells, I made sure that it has that kind of a very rugged look, and it's definitely a little bit of a rectangular shape. I made the uh, fenders bulge out a little bit more. Uh, compared to the current Lexus GX because once again it should look very muscular and very rugged and off-road uh, kind of design and I added a side vent here because that's what you see in the Defender as well and then I began to make some other changes so for example the uh, running board section is also integrated uh, with a body matched color I changed the wheels to look something like uh, what you get in the Lexus LX off-road version which is a model that's offered in Japan. Uh, I made it a 19 inch wheels instead of 18 inch wheels because I think it'll get a little bit bigger. I changed the shape of the tail lamp because I think it's going to be horizontal lines. Of course you can't see that from here uh, but I also changed the C-pillar design and made the roof blacked out. Now I don't know if we're going to get a, an actual blacked out uh, roof but who knows. I also added this uh, big um, roof rack on the top, kind of like Land Rover Defender version, and uh, make sure that's uh, well fitted to the top of the roof. And so those are the main thing I did, and uh, I hope you like the design. Let me know in the comment below what you think. Now let me take you right into the 2022 Lexus GX, and let me do a very detailed walk around so I can explain to you my um, reasoning and my imagination for what the 2024 GX might be like. So this is a 2022 Lexus GX, and it's actually quite beautiful in terms of the overall design because it's aged well, and I love driving this thing. Um, but uh, to predict the uh, future of Lexus GX, we need to dissect this further. So based on what we know about the new Lexus LX, for example, we think they will keep the spindle grille for the new 24 Lexus GX, but this part will probably change quite a bit because the new Lexus LX has a lot of horizontal line and this is quite bold. And we think that they will carry the same kind of design feature on the new GX. 
Now they might have a couple different grille designs, just like they have on the LX. Maybe the horizontal line for the normal GX, and then the blacked out version for some kind of sports version. So that's something that uh, is going to be interesting to see. But I expect this grille to get bigger, a little bit more slanted down here, and this shape will change. I don't think it's going to bulge out like this so much, uh, but it's going to flatten out here perhaps. Most likely they'll keep the same Lexus logo, of course, uh, and then the headlight will look very different because this is kind of an older design of the Toyota slash Lexus. We're going to see something a little bit closer to Lexus LX in terms of a headlight design. And this part will change. Maybe this will get a little bit slimmer to give it a bit of a more elegant look. Because right now this design is pretty outdated looking and this whole thing looks, uh, you know, kind of too traditional. So this should change quite a bit. Uh, the bumpers uh, will probably look a little bit more integrated with the grille in the front. And in terms of fog lamp right now, we have a small fog lamp here and then the the turning light here. So most likely this will get integrated a little bit better with a new model. But the whole front design, I think will look more uh, rugged because what we were hearing from a variety of different sources, including media from Japan, is that the new GX will look more like a Land Rover Defender or Mercedes G-Wagon with that kind of tough, ready to go anywhere design. And so this one looks too conservative, is too normal looking. And so we can expect something a little bit more spunky and something more interesting in the front. Much like a Land Cruiser and the current trend by Toyota, we might see two smaller hood bumps here, as opposed to this kind of a very conservative design. And maybe a bit of a clamshell design in terms of a hood, because the current trend is for these things to come a little bit further down and the hood line to be around here. This is the old way of design and this is going to come over here because it's easier for the integration of the panels if the actual uh, alignment and the panel fit is right along here. Also right now there's no front uh, sort of fender wells here so most likely we'll get something more rugged here maybe a plastic cladding or something that sticks out a little bit more and then the wheels well the Lexus doesn't change wheels design too much so maybe the conservative design of something like this might stay but uh, I don't know, this type of design is getting so outdated. They need to really improve this. So something a little bit more rugged looking and also bigger. This is only 18 inch and we should definitely get 19, maybe 20 or maybe even 21s or 22s because that is a current trend is to put as big of a wheel as possible. Now let's keep on going here. Right now the GX is pretty flat here with very little uh, design architecture. So this should change a little bit to give a little bit more of a hump over here and to give a flavor and a character. But this is just too conservative. And once again, if Land Rover Defender or a Mercedes G-Wagon is sort of the target in terms of design, it needs to look way more rugged. And this is just too boring. I think we will still get some kind of an angle here for the D-pillar. But that's a traditional design of all Lexus SUVs. I suspect this part to get a little bit bigger because the whole car should also get longer and wider. And so maybe you'll get a beefier D-pillar here. And again, a little bit more of a bulging fenders here and also in the front. Okay, now let's keep on going here. Now the rear tail light is really old design. It's been that way for a very long time. All Lexus have been doing is changing sometimes the color of the lens, but that's about all. I don't expect them to carry on with this kind of vertical design because again, the trend is to have a horizontal tail lamp. So I expect a radical departure here, maybe more slim rear design this way. And then we might have the word Lexus here instead of the emblem, because that's what they're doing these days. And of course, the biggest change that might happen is to move away from this um, design in which the tailgate swings this way. This is an awkward design and uh, I don't think they're going to carry that. Even though we can actually open this thing here, which is a nice feature right now. But I'm pretty sure this will become a one piece standard hatchback style design in which the whole thing will open this way. And that means this may not open anymore. We don't know. On the new Sequoia, you know, this uh, window does open a little bit. So maybe they will keep that. Um, but uh, let's keep on going here and going back to the rear here again more fender bulges and then the front fenders and then we should get something a little bit more interesting than this type of integrated uh, running board 
maybe a choice of different types of running board if they're going to try to make the whole GX look more like a Defender. Um, as you know, the Land Rover Defender has some interesting design touches such as you know, compartments that goes into here and even something that looks like a ladder that goes to the top. Who knows, maybe Lexus will offer a whole bunch of accessories to make it look very special and unique. Uh, once again, to compete with the likes of uh, Defender and maybe even the G-Wagon, which obviously will be a lot more expensive than the GX. So that's the exterior part. Now let's go inside and see what we can predict about the interior design. So that was part one, which was my predictions for what the exterior design might look like, including a bunch of my renderings. I hope you liked it. So then I'm going to move into uh, part two in the next video, which is going to be a predictions for what the interior is going to be. I'm going to use a 2022 Lexus GX as a baseline again and go over all of the details as to what might be changing for the 2024 Lexus GX. So that's, that's coming up very soon. Stay tuned.